Number 53. A person inhales and exhales 2 liters of 37 degrees Celsius air, evaporating 4 times 10 to the minus 2 grams of water from the lungs, and breathing passages with each breath. Letter A. How much heat transfer occurs due to evaporation in each breath? Okay, so this is straightforward evaporation. The formula is up here at the top. So it's essentially the energy needed to change phase. In this case, evaporate is equal to the mass that is evaporating multiplied then by the latent heat of vaporization. Okay, so simply we can just plug in. Remember, though, you need uh, kilograms here. So that's 4 times 10 to the minus 2 grams. So that's basically 0 0.04. Uh, four grams, and then take that value and divide it by then 1,000 to get into kilograms. Latent heat of vaporization of water, that should be memorized probably by this point, 22,560 kilojoules, but you need that in terms of joules. So let's just simply then calculate, all right? So it's going to be 0 0.04 divided by then 1,000 times then 22,560. Uh, yep. Well, 22,560, you know what I mean? And we get about 90.24. So 90.24, and that is joules, okay? And that's with each breath, right? Because we use then the uh, grams per breath, they told us, each breath. So you know that this is then the amount of heat energy per basically breath. Okay, just keep that in mind. So let's take a look at now letter B. What is the rate of heat transfer in watts? Now they asked us specifically for a unit, so that's great. I will calculate watts. If the person is breathing at a moderate rate of 18 breaths per minute. Well, if this is now, uh, so we, we can do this in a couple of ways. I mean, we can find, you know, the total amount of energy. So if this is, if this represents the total amount of energy per breath, right? So we have 90.24 joules per breath. And we know that there's 18 breaths per minute, right? What I can do is this, multiply that. I want to get rid of breaths. So breaths here will go on the top. And then it tells us a rate of breathing, though, 18 breaths per minute. So this is really breaths per minute. And they tell us 18 breaths per single minute. Now notice, the breaths cancel. What units are you left with? Well, you're left with joules per minute. And you want watts. So what's a watt? It's a joule per second, right? So we just got to do one more step in this conversion. Minutes on the top, seconds on the bottom. One minute is 60 seconds. And now you will have joules per second, which is a watt, okay? So let's just calculate that now. So there's going to be 90.24 multiplied by 18 divided by 60. So this is about 27.1 or so. So 27.1, and that's going to be uh, in terms of uh, joules per second, which is a watt. Okay, watt. All right. Um, also over here, I'm really not taking into account sig figs. I know, you know, sometimes I, I, I really... I'm really not bogged down by sig figs all the time. Let's make sure we understand the concept. So let us see. If the inhaled air had a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, what is the rate of heat transfer now for warming the air? So basically, it says that uh, the air will eventually reach 37 degrees Celsius. It started at 20. So this is just a simple uh, Q equals MC delta T calculation. Remember, we're talking about air here. So the amount of heat you know, transferred to the air is then equal to the mass of the air, specific heat of the air times the change in temperature of that air. All right, so let's see now. So what's the mass? What is the mass of air? Well, they tell us the volume of air, right? Inhales and exhales two liters. So you know that mass and volume are related via the density. In other words, the mass is the same thing as saying the density multiplied by the volume, okay? And this is both for air. Multiply them by the specific heat of air, and then multiplied by the change in temperature of that air. So the density of air that you'd have to look up, that's about 1.29, right? Uh, right, 1.29 kilogram per cubic meter. And then uh, what do we have here? So this will this will then be um, the volume. Sorry, they gave it to us in liters. So we need that, though, in cubic meters. So that's going to be 2 divided by then 1,000 again. All right, and then the specific heat of air that you got to look up, that's 721. That's in joules, correct units. And then the change in temperature here is going to be uh, 37. Right, the final will be 37 minus then the initial is 20. So let's figure this out. So we got 
times then 0 0.002 essentially, then multiplied by 721, then multiplied by 37 minus 20, which is just 17. And this is 31.6. So this is 31.6 or so. Uh, Okay, this is, sorry, I'm just thinking about, this is going to be rate of heat transfer. This is joules now, right? So this is, you got to be careful here. The, what did we calculate? Well, we calculated the energy, right? But this is the energy for per breath, right? Because they say a person inhales and exhales two liters each breath. So this is basically this many, this amount of energy per breath, all right? And then what do we have to do? Well, then we're going to have to do a very similar conversion to what we did over here. Multiply by the breathing rate, then divide it by essentially the seconds. So after I do that, I'm going to take 31.6, divide, uh, excuse me, multiply that by 18, then divide it by 60. It's the same conversion as at the top. And this now works out to be 9.49 or so. 9. Point, oops. 9.49 watts. Okay. All right, great. And now, last but not least, letter D, discuss the total rate of heat transfer as it relates to typical metabolic rates. Will this breathing rate be a major form of heat transfer uh, for the person? Will this breathing rate, so discuss. Well, you'd have to know the basal metabolic rate for a uh, human. I've discussed that before in the past, but for this, I'll, le I'll leave it up to your uh, own investiga uh, investigative abilities. All right, so go... Take a look and try to figure out what the rate, um, you know, the average metabolic rate is, and then figure out, you know, what's going on with these particular rates, okay, in relation to then the overall metabolic rate. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.